Group B we go, and of course it's one of the favourites, it's Belgium, up against Russia, who's going to come out top? We'll take a look, next. Here we go, boys and girls, with another heavyweight encounter, that's right over in Group B, with of course, one of the favourites, Belgium, and of course, Russia, locking horns over in Group B. Make sure you bang your thumbs up, bang your subscribe, as we jump into the old vortex. So here we go, taking place on the 12th of, of course, June, at the St. Petersburg Stadium, over in Russia. So, of course, Russia coming into this, with a bit of support from, of course, uh, the local fans, if they're allowed in, I'm sure they are, and of course, they'll be locking horns uh, over uh, out in Group B. To get the dominance, of course, of course, Belgium, managed by Roberto Martinez, of course, Stanislas Cheryshev is still the man in charge with Russia, of course, we know him as Mustachio, of course. Let's take a look at uh, Belgium, how they got there. Of course, we, uh, they did get there back on the 10th of October 2019, of course, as Group I winners. Uh, of course, they've been to the Euros five times in the past and, of course, currently ranked number one at FIFA. That's right, not the game, but, of course, the real deal. Uh, of course, their record, or not on that record, but, of course, heading into this, this is their schedule at the moment. Of course, looking forward to taking on Russia right here around day one, match one for them, of course. Then it is the Danes on the 17th of June before wrapping up their three-peat up against the Finns on the 21st of June. Take a look at the 20th six-man squad now for you, of course. Uh, some very, very big-time players, of course. Uh, maybe more in midfield than at the back, but of course they are still very, very dangerous. Got Courtois between the sticks, got Alexa Denier at the back there, Castagna as well. Uh, De Bruyne, of course, out for this game, I believe. Tillmans and, of course, Lukaku up top. Is it a who's who? Uh, of course, this is my who's who with the starting lineup coming at you. Of course, with Courtois between the sticks, Denier at uh, uh, one of the three centre-backs for Tongan and, of course, Odorald as well. Castagna on the left, Munier on the right in a sort of uh, uh, four-man stretch midfield with Ritz and Tillmans, of course. And a young man, of course, up top, Doku, of course, leading the charge. He's on Ren's books these days, I believe. Hazard as well, and Lukaku uh, out there scoring goals. One of your tips, I'm sure, for the golden boot. Can he get off to himself to a banger up against the Russians? We'll have a little look. And speaking of the Russians, they come out here, of course, uh, managed by Stanislav Cheryshev. Of course, they are Group I runners-up, believe it or not, which is, of course, if my memory serves me correct, the same group as Belgium, am I right? Of course, they qualified on the 13th of October, finishing uh, uh, as runners-up. Of course, they've been to the Euros 11 times in the past, and they're currently ranked 30 8th, of course, they are playing a bit of catch up with, of course, the competitive games for uh, didn't really have any build up from the World Cup because they were hosts as well, so that's why they're a little bit uh, behind the times. Meanwhile, of course, they're, they're roster heading into this, of course, Belgium right here, right now. Then it's the Finns on the 16th of June before wrapping up the three peak up against Russia. So here is the 26 man squad for, of course, Russia coming at you with uh, some familiar faces and some not so, of course, shooting between the sticks these days. Of course, Akin Penwood no longer with the boys. Of course, you've still got a familiar face at the back, Shirikov, formerly the books of Chelsea, am I right, or is it uh, Manchester City? I can't really remember. Golovin's still there, still only a babyface assassin, and they've got Zugba up top. So there are some familiar faces as well. The Cherishev, of course, on the books of Valencia these days. Of course, this is my starting 11 and 4 and for you. Uh, of course, it could be this or it could be nowhere near. Uh, we've got Zubin in between the sticks. We've got Zekka, Semenov, and Denov at the back three. Then we've got Shurikov on the left, Fernandez on the right, Golovin and Zobnin in the middle with Cherishev, Moranchuk. And Zugba, it is quite a tasty looking 11 if uh, if uh, I'm closer to the money with this pick. We'll see how that pans out. Of course, they've played for the six times in the past, just five wins for Belgium. No wins for the Russians and one draw. The biggest win for uh, Belgium over the Russians was a 4-1 win. Uh, they've scored 16 goals in total over Russia who have scored seven goals in return, picking up a 1.17 goals a game ratio against the Belgians. Meanwhile, they've got a 2.67 goals a game ratio over the Russians, of course. Uh, the Belgians felt form heading into this is a 92% success rate, winning five of the last six games in all competitions. Meanwhile, the Russians have just got a, a 42% success rate, so they're playing them at probably the right time. These are, of course, the last encounters. Of course, the last round was in Russia. It was a qualifying campaign back in 2019, of course, and we talked about that uh, that group encounter. They beat, they beat them 4-1. They also beat them 3-1 in Belgium, scoring seven goals in the past two games when they've locked horns. Of course, Quick look at the resume here. This is the rest of Group B. Uh, we'll be previewing the Finland game up against the Danes, of course, uh, pretty soon. So make sure you check that out. Uh, of course, I did ask, I did ask uh, the, uh, the general public what they thought about this match. And 86% of the 200 people that voted have gone with Belgium. Just 8% have gone with the Russians. And, of course, there's been 6% with the draw. Of course, as for me, though, I am actually being bold on this one. Going to go with a 2-0 win for the Belgians on this one. Of course, they are one of the favourites. And, of course, it's, I think it's kind of similar vote to England. They're going to flex their muscles in the group stage before they're going to be really tested in the knockout. So I think that's when we'll start to see them really shine in the group and then of course maybe in the back end they might ha have a couple of hiccups but of course Russia will have to play catch up up against the Danes up against the Finns because I think this one's a dead rubber in their regard they, they of course they should expect to lose it they probably will lose it so there you have it boys and girls there you bloody have it that's of course my sneaky peek uh, input to this game it's a five minute preview of course and we'll keep co coverage from this group and the rest of the tournament as well make sure you check out the links to down below I'm on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook and of course Patreon as well also check out the, the content that's coming out in time we have a prediction video we've got of course the uh, 
the real cat is out and she's doing predictions. And of course, we'll be covering in each and every game as they come by. But that's it. Make sure you give the, the video some love and smash the thumbs up, thumbs up, smash the subscribe. I'll see you up for the next one next time.